Dear soul, I thank you for being here. Welcome to this guided meditation. It's no coincidence that you are here now, and I'm honored to, to meet you here, to connect with you here on your journey. Allow yourself to take a deep breath in and out. And when you do so, imagine just breathing in life force. I'm not talking about oxygen only. I'm talking about the intelligence, the wisdom, love, and the power of the divine source. Move your body if you have to, and maybe you can allow yourself to get comfortable in yourself, with yourself, and with me. If there are sounds around you or something happening around you, just allow them to be a part of the process of making your journey more empowering because your unconscious mind allows the sounds to help you go deeper into that state you are on your way to now. And you don't need to go deep into relaxation. Your unconscious mind can go deep and relax all by itself without your conscious effort because it knows how to go deeper without you knowing consciously what even the depth it can float into is about. It can go deep into the place of pure presence while you consciously are aware of things, words, and the fact that you can make yourself more comfortable now if you want to, and you're doing good. If you want to, tell your arms to relax and let go. Tell your feet to let go and relax. Feel free to use that beautiful smile of yours. And if I were to see your smile, I will bet you that I would smile back to you. In your imagination now, you can think of this as a thought or get a sense of it, feel it, or you can see it on the screen of your mind. I want to ask you to invite the three-year-old you to join you now. Invite that little you to show you a place in your mind where that little you feels safe, secure, free, and at ease. Take your time and go with whatever comes up first. What comes up first is from your intuition. Go with what comes first and imagine that you are both there at this safe place. And if you haven't done it already, hug that 
that little you like you mean it. Embrace that little you with all your heart and all your love and your full presence. Because you know that that little you deserves to be loved. And you, dear soul, are the one and only in this moment and in every moment that can give that little you unconditional love. Just do the best you can right now to just be there with that little you fully present in love. See, hear, or feel how that little you reacts. Sometimes that little one needs time to feel safe. And other times, that precious little child feels safe with you right away. And now that you have that little you there with you, is there something you could say or share telepathically with that little you that would really benefit and empower that little one? Things that you know now that you didn't know back then that would be really helpful and resourceful for that little you to know about. And also tell that little you that you are ready to heal what needs to be healed in the pace that is right for you. You are ready to face what needs to be faced and change what is ripe for change within you because you have realized that you as a conscious and capable adult are the only one that are responsible for the grown-up you and your inner child. You are the parent now of that little you. The power is in your hands. And no matter what you do or don't do, this is the truth. It's time now to let that little one know that you are going to step up now and take yourself seriously, respecting yourself now, loving yourself now, accepting yourself now, the present you, your inner child and the future you. You have been given the gift of life and you can honor it by honoring yourself. Turning up the divine light within you now. Now 
ask that little you, what kind of fun would you love to do in your life that you're not doing? What activity is that little one yearning for? Go with whatever comes up. Now ask that little you if there is something else that that little one wants to tell you or show you. Go with what comes while I'm quiet for a few moments. Imagine now that that little you starts to transform, becoming transparent energy of pure light, the light of your soul, the living light codes of Source. Imagine the divine essence of that little you merging with your heart, with your heart energy. Your unconscious mind can continue to merge and integrate this light now. And when you do so, Imagine starting to travel back through time, asking your subconscious mind now to move back, to float back through time, to the time in your timeline when you were pure soul energy right before you went into your physical body in your mother's womb. I'm counting from three to one when I come to one. You are there in the time of being a soul on soul level. Three. Imagine and allow yourself to just flow through time, as time doesn't even exist, back to the time of no time, right before you went into this body that you now have, two, floating through time, into that time when you were pure soul energy. One, imagine being there now, in the full love, power, and wisdom of your soul essence, connected to source, connected to love, aligned with peace. From the perspective of your soul, you are observing You are conscious of the fact and the reality that you are going to go through that physical life in that physical body in your mother's womb. Your whole being is there now, aware that you are also in that human form that you are in right now as a grown-up. In this time, listening to these words, your soul is aware of that little you in the womb, that body, that precious physical temple in your mother's womb. And while your unconscious mind goes deeper now, imagine a portal opening 
like a door opening. And that portal is the door into your physical life. And you can imagine this in whatever way you want to. There are no rules here. We don't like rules, do we? The freedom. Imagine that the pure soul essence, your energy, your soul signature, pours the energy of source, of pure undistorted love, from your soul, through that portal, through that door, and into that physical body, in the womb, in your mother's womb. Pour in the energy of your soul, the energy of love, pure unconditional love, into that little you in the womb, reminding that little you of who you are, a beautiful, powerful soul in a human body. That soul energy blasts through every second in your mother's womb, through your birth, through your childhood, surging through every second of your childhood, going through everything, cleansing everything healing everything, going through all, going through all timelines, all experiences, through your teens, coursing through every moment, cleansing all of it. And imagine your soul energy bursting through your life now in this moment. It hits you in the back of your heart, between your shoulder blades. And it goes into your heart now. Filling up your heart. Bursting your heart with love. Healing your heart with love. Activating consciousness, activating light codes, the codes of awakening, the codes of why you are here on earth, awakening, remembrance of the power within you on soul level, seeping into your conscious awareness and earthly life. This love that comes from your soul now is a boost of energy. So it will feel easier for you to follow through, to stand strong, grounded and balanced in your personal power. Showing up with that energy of yours, 
that love of yours, with that newfound freedom of yours. Because even if you are in frames of reality that don't feel that free, still you have freedom of thought. You have freedom of action within those frames. You have will, the power of will. And by taking responsibility now for the choices you have made and the actions you have taken, you can change the frames of your external life. The frames of external life can be changed. There are many solutions, many possibilities, many choices that you can make many actions that you can take, and they are not necessarily easy, but you have what it takes within you to make the changes now. When you decide, it is already done, and you can do that much more easily now. And I ask your subconscious mind, the deep intelligence within you, the wisdom in your heart, to continue sending this soul energy for as long as you need it, for the highest good. And your soul knows the amount of soul energy that is safe for you to handle. It knows the amount of soul energy that is safe for you to have in your physical body. And your physical body will adjust to the boost and enhancement of soul energy. Your body will adjust in a safe and natural way. And you're doing good. Bask in this soul energy that is working through you, cleansing you, healing you, balancing you. Just feel whatever feelings you are feeling and allow them to work through you. Sometimes when we heal, we can cry a bit or shake a bit, laugh a bit, allowing the emotions, whatever they are, positive or not positive, Allow them to flow, just allow them to work through you, letting go and upgrading at the same time. And I wonder if you can imagine now that you move your consciousness into the time of your birth. Imagine floating into the time of your birth. And imagine now that you are holding that newborn you. Hold that newborn you in your arms. And really embrace that little one with so much love and with so much gratitude. And tell that newborn you, in your own way, how loved that little one is. Tell that little one that no matter what will happen in life, you will always be there with that little one, in your heart. You're always connected. Imagine that newborn you in your heart. And your grown-up you 
in the heart of that newborn you. You are one. You are the same. Imagine that you are the baby you, looking into the eyes of the grown-up you now. You are being held by the present grown-up you. And imagine the grown-up you telling you, while looking into your eyes, you are good enough, you always have been, you always will be, you are so valuable, you are so loved, I love you. You are a child of the divine. You have come to this earth with so much purpose and so much meaning. You are so important to this planet. You matter beyond what you will ever know. You matter so much. Your energy, your thoughts, your opinions, everything about you matter. And I'm so grateful that you are here. I'm so grateful that you chose to come through to this physical life. Because I know it's not necessarily an easy task to be on Earth. We choose to prioritize ourselves, our well-being, our health, our growth and expansion, doing the inner work, the healing work, deprogramming ourselves, doing everything that we need to do to take care of ourselves. And we got this. You got this. You will manage this. All that divine light in you will shine forth. And I invite you, little one, to shine, to be yourself. You have seeds within you that will start to activate and blossom. And they will blossom to the point of no return. You will awaken to the power and purpose that you are here for, that you are born with. And I am here with you all of the time, now. You are a sovereign being, a free being, a loving being, a powerful being. You stand up for yourself. And imagine now being the grown-up you again, transferring into that grown-up you. And imagine, if you want to, that you're also joined by the three-year-old you, the seven-year-old you. And you can even bring in the 90-year-old you. What would that feel like? Bring in the 90-year-old you now. And allow that 90-year-old you to shine that beautiful light for you as well. And imagine the 90-year-old you holding the baby you now, telling that little baby you, you are a spark of the source essence. You are a pure, brilliant spark of divine light. And you are here to shine. You are here to be authentically you. There is only one you on this planet for a reason. The divine wants you to be you. 
the divine energy and consciousness within you wants to experience itself. God's source wants to experience itself through you, through your physical body that you have chosen and been given for a reason. And you have chosen this meeting as well now for a reason. And all the parts of you, the present you and the younger yous and the older you have chosen to meet now in this way for a reason. I will be quiet for a little while and just imagine all these versions of you showing love and affection for each other. And maybe that 90 year old you has some advice for you and for the younger use, the inner use, your inner child. And imagine now that you all start to become transparent and you start merging with each other, becoming one again, becoming one with your heart as they shrink into balls of light. And they reside in the secret chamber of your heart. Inside the secret chamber of your heart, there is a flame that holds the essence of your soul. Pure love, pure power, and pure wisdom. This flame is called the threefold flame. The threefold flame is source essence. It is the divine that resides in your heart. The living light codes of source in your heart. Burning bright now, powerfully present in your life here on earth. Your subconscious mind can integrate this healing now and allow this healing process to continue for as long as you need to while you sleep, while you're awake. And I'm curious if you are curious about what positive changes you will notice now, maybe in the next hours or tomorrow or within the next week or month. And I wonder what you will appreciate the most about these changes. And I'm asking your subconscious mind to nudge you in the right direction. Nudge you into taking action, making choices, making decisions. There are for the best that are for your highest good. And I'm asking your subconscious mind to have this connection to your soul energy for as long that is needed, allowing all the cells in your body to integrate and embody more of the divine light, more power, knowledge, wisdom, and love into your life into your consciousness, into your body. And I'm going to ask you now to start coming back into your body, like becoming aware of your body, moving your fingers a bit, moving your hands a bit, Move your feet a bit and just take a couple of deeper breaths in and breathe out and and while you're doing so, I just want to extend 
my love to you. I am honored and grateful to be a part of your path. From my heart to your heart, thank you for your trust. I believe in you. I see the light and feel the power within you.